Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So part two of my kitting down from all my Christmas specials and a couple of other bits and pieces as well. So I've got all my special shaped gems out and my large round gems uh, all categorised in colour order and then in marquees, teardrops and miscellaneous. Um, none of these gems have any code numbers on them to put away so they will just go as matched up as per colour and shape and size. Okay so first of all what I need to do is sort out all these gems and um, I have got my January sign done so I just need to seal that. Uh, the only thing I say about these signs that I wasn't happy about was the fact that they are all sticky all over so even if you don't want to seal them you really do need to because everything other than the bits with the gems on is exceptionally sticky and this one is broken as well and I don't know whether I've broken it or whether it came broken because when I bought the 12 I don't remember this one being broken but uh, anyway okay so I've brought that one upstairs so I can seal it right and that's about all I need to seal at the moment but I am doing some specials Okay, um, oh, I finally got my key ring completed. If you remember when I did smashing the specials, <laughs> I thought it was only one-sided. And then when I turned it over, all of this had the letters on as well. So I have actually now done both sides and it has been sealed. This has gone very, very... Um, well, actually, that's still a little bit sticky. I must have missed a bit there. Uh, yeah, this has gone very, very cloudy, unfortunately. But I suppose it's the only way they could get the ladybird. Ladybird? Liz, it's a butterfly. That's the only way they could get the butterfly to be there. So they had to have this large piece here. And again, it was all sticky. So I just need the key ring charm. Where is the hole on this one? Have I covered the hole over? Quite possibly. So we want the gems out. And I want the little keychain with the lobster claw clasp. So, oh, that is tiny. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let me just grab my tweezers because I think I've covered the hole over. Yes, I have. Just uh, give it a little bit of a prod, otherwise we're not going to get anything through there. That's it. That's that done. Okay. And then that chain will just go through there hopefully uh, actually the little bit of plastic was still in it a little bit of plastic was still in I don't know if you can see that don't know if it'll focus in there you are look so that it wasn't me covering over the hole it was actually still the little piece of plastic that was in there okay and I think I've missed a gem off this but never mind. So let's see if that will just go through there. I'm just using my tweezers to grab hold of it. All right. And then I just want the little lobster claw clasp on it. I'm not quite sure where this one will go. I think it's a bit heavy to go on my bag because I do have a lot in my bag at the moment. But uh, it'll get hung up somewhere. All right. So just pop that through there. And that is that one done. So I'm a little bit sad about the fact that it's very cloudy here. Might see if I can see do something with that. I wonder if I can put some sort of varnish or something on it that will make it a bit more shiny. Or use some Goo Gone. I know Goo Gone didn't work very well, did it, when I tried it on the um, sign, the gnome sign. So, okay, anyway, so that's those done. Right, and then it's just a case of sorting all of these gems out now. Oh my goodness me. Let's see where we end up with all these, see how many we've got. So, uh, these are just standard gems. They're pink. So, I sort them into colour order first, and then I do each colour at a time. Um, and then... Uh, and then I sort each colour into like these the shapes and everything and the sizes. So they're all just standard crystals to go in my standard crystals. All the spares. Um, not quite sure. I think this was, oh yeah, this was one of the Christmas signs. Oh, this was, this was my January sign. So again, quite a few left. I've got some sparklers there. Standards. 
standard standard right, that's my little chain i didn't use the chain or i haven't used the chain so far because i've been putting them up with a little command strip um because i don't particularly want them hanging on the wall i like uh, that's just my standard silver i like them I like them to be actually stuck onto the wall so that's a silver as well that's a blue that's a blue and that's a larger blue so okay they're the standards and then these are the gloves that i did so we need to just sort these out as well the others are actually all sorted out um i've already done all the crystals so it is just literally the gems wants to go over there that wants to go, yep, that was my little gloves that I did, which I've not been out yet to wear them. But I will be wearing them because I want to see how well they do wear with the diamonds on. Okay, so we have standard, they're blacks, so put those over there. They're silvers, pinks. Oh, they weren't now then they're different they're actually black underneath but the silver on top so they go in the silvers i'll have to watch that because looking at them you'd think that they were just standard black but actually they're not they're silver they're silver that's silver that's pink and that's purple okay all right so what else have we got we've got white and white and they're silver they're not twinklers are they no more white looks white black and uh, crystals i have actually got in a separate jar so i do keep those separate i might put those actually in with the blacks um silver silver twinklers white more blacks yeah to be honest once they're on a diamond painting you can't tell the difference between um one of the standard blacks that is like a black on the bottom and black on the top and the ones with the silver on the bottom i think the ones with the silver on the bottom are resin i'm not quite sure uh, so don't quote me on that but i think that is possibly the difference All right so we've got reds reds greens yellow um probably count that as yellow as well a lot of silver a lot of red and gold and silver red blue gold gold pink pink <gasps> pink look at that wow bubblegum pink goodness it's like nearly neon pink uh, gold and silver Grab the last few. Ooh. Okay. So red. Oh, green twink. Uh, green ABs. Silver. Silver. Red. Silver. Red. Gold. Twinklers. Silver, pink. Oh, I don't know whether I'd put those in gold or yellow. Let me put them sort of there for now and we'll see. I have to see which ones to go in. Uh, pink, <gasps> blue, hot pink. And under the blue, oops. And more silver, orange. That's a definite orange. Got black again, green more twinklers and black so i'll put the black the white oops, and the silver out of the way for now and then the abs oh it's more black there look and the twinklers out of the way for now i'll put those up there and then we need to work through these and see where we end up okay so I'll just work through my box and see what we can match and what we can't match. Yay! So grab a tray so I don't lose half of them. <laughs> oh, famous last words. Right, silver's first and it seems as though silver is the one we've got the most of. So first and foremost, let's see if we've got any that are actually the same already. So they're like marquee. They're teardrops. They're marquees which look the same as those. They're a smaller marquee. 
and they're a smaller marquee that look like those and they're a smaller marquee that look like those <laughs> and they're around and they're another marquee yeah i think they're those got stars they go in miscellaneous and another marquee and another marquee and they're marquees that haven't got oh yes they have they have got an iridescent coating so they could be those more rounds more miscellaneous uh, they will be miscellaneous and then these are more of the little marquees goodness me so let's start off with the rounds then um yeah so we've got rounds with an iridescent coating on and rounds without so let's have a look in those first okay so, so i uh, categorize them all as uh, large rounds marquees teardrops and miscellaneous so just put that teardrop there a second so we're looking for these two rounds so ooh, i think they're smaller just being joined by the lovely millie moo are you okay are you in your bed yeah just having a look okay right back to gem sorting <laughs> So are they those? I've got a mixed bag there, look. That have got larger ones and smaller ones in. So they are those. Have I got a bag that's only got small ones in? They've got a coating. Um and they've got a coating, so I'll keep those there. Now then are they those? yep so i have started another bag because i've mixed this bag and at some point i think i did decide i was going to separate them out and i haven't done um yeah so i've started another bag with everything on so i'm actually going to put a label on that one that says mixed and then i'll remember next time <laughs> oh famous last words right let me grab one of my little heart stickers i love these little heart stickers and if I can find a pen and the squeaking is uh, my chair it's not me honest so I'm just going to put mix on there so when I look at them next time I'll know to look for the bag that just has the smaller ones in or the larger ones not the one that's got both in so I don't put any more in there compound the mistake I don't know what Millie's doing she's sort of like turning round and round in her bed oh hang on are we um are we not comfy is it that bit that's a bit better just just give that bit a scratch yeah yeah we just want to get onto that oh little bit right in the corner there okay that's it <laughs> oh dear i love it when dogs go round and round and round in circles I think it's from, isn't it, wolf days or something when they used to have to go around in a circle and flatten all the uh, grass and everything down to make it comfy. But, uh, yeah, Millie tends to do it and then she'll get up again in five minutes and do it again, you know. Because, you know, it, it's such a hard and uncomfy bed that we've got for her. I just don't know how she stays in this house, you know, we're so cruel. <laughs> oh, dear right so yeah and they are those and are they the same as well uh no they are oh now then so why have i got two bags of these have i thought that they haven't got an iridescent coating on actually they are Oh, they are all the same size. I must have thought there were different sizes at some point. So I am actually going to put all these together. Okay, go on, in you get. Or out you get and in you get. That's it, so I've got a spare bag now. Yay! <laughs> so I hope everybody is doing okay and is uh, having a bit more of a comfy life than Millie, obviously, because she's just having to turn round and round and round and just not happy with herself at all. <laughs> <laughs> right uh marquees oh my goodness me so yeah and i hope life is treating you as kindly as possible i know there's been quite a few floods uh, around here recently so it's not been very good 
at all. I believe that these are all the same. They are all the same size and all the same one. So yeah, all those Christmas cards and all those Christmas projects. Look at all these little marquees on them. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So then that's the larger size as well. Yeah, that one actually, has it got an iridescent coating on? No, that's just a plain one. So they're the ones with the coating. So we want one that hasn't and one that has. So I think that could be, oh, I don't know whether they're smaller. We have a look, there's no coating. That one hasn't got a coating, so I think that's those. Uh, oh, I thought there was nothing in that bag then, but we've got one that's got a very elongated uh, marquee look. Just in the corner there. I think that's those, and I think that's... Yeah, that's the smaller ones of those. Okay, so let's get these put away then with the friends. Might not take quite as long as I thought doing this, because we have got uh, a lot of all the same. Yeah, put the that one in there first, I think. Oh, it's two in here. There's, oh, they're obviously not talking to one another. They're at opposite ends of the bag. <laughs> one of them's had a row with the other one. So, all right. That's that one. Okay, and then... Yep, these are definitely these. So, which side does this bag open? Opens at that side there. So yeah, we've uh, had a bit of a fun week this week. Um, Hubby's been to his uh, dialysis on Wednesday. He didn't get back in till nearly seven o'clock. So he'd had a really long day and he was in quite a bit of pain because he can't sit in his wheelchair for a long time. Um, so we had a bit of a, a not a very good night on uh, Wednesday night. And then, of course, we had to get up and he had an injection at the doctor's on Thursday. That was Thursday, sort of lunchtime-ish. So it wasn't a real get up early and rush about type thing. Shall I empty these all into this tray first? No, I'll just put them into the bag. Otherwise I'm likely to spill them. Um, and then we went all the way to the hospital yesterday afternoon for his appointment yesterday afternoon. And it was cancelled. And to say I wasn't best pleased uh, was an understatement. But I mean, there's no point in saying anything to the staff because it's not their fault. And the annoying thing was, I said, well, when was it cancelled? I'd not had, because usually I get like a text message and I get an email. You know, when I'm actually going to the hospital, I'm always getting emails saying you have a new notification. And then I get text messages telling me that uh, you must attend this appointment and if you don't we can't give it to anybody else and if every missed appointment costs £160 and all this and uh, yeah I've not had anything like that and she said oh well it was yesterday afternoon I said well it must have been very late on then because on Wednesday afternoon I was doing some filming um, and I printed out the letter on Wednesday afternoon um, after I'd finished filming so I know that was quite late because it was quite dark, wasn't it? So that must have been about four, half past four-ish. And uh, yeah, then after that, they decided to cancel it. I mean, in some ways, it's my fault. I should have looked um, on the, the this this like app thing that you have called Patients Know Best or the NHS app you can go on. Um, and, you know, it shows you all your appointments. And to be fair, when the lady said it's cancelled, I did look on there and it did say cancelled. But I know for sure it didn't say cancelled when I printed the letter out. So, yeah, that was a bit annoying. Um, so Hubby says, oh, well, there's a Costa coffee downstairs. Let's just go and have a Costa coffee. And uh, I said, oh, OK, then. I, to be honest, I'm very uh, I'm frugal with my money, tight with my money, some would say. And I really don't like paying that amount of money for a coffee. And when you go in there, you've got to have a bun. You know, it's just uh, written into the agreement that if you have a drink, you must have a bun with it. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. But you know what I mean? You like to have a bun, don't you, with your coffee? Um, but there was none that really took my fancy. Uh, I can't get this up. Oh, this is driving me mad. Right, I'm just going to tear that and throw this bag away because I can't be doing with fighting with bags. This is why I don't like the cheap, really thin plastic bags because I could never open them. Uh, yeah, so when we get to the, like, the, well, the queue, the end of the queue, um, there's this sign up saying, oh, we've got these warm, uh, sorry, hot, 
like hot chocolate but the milkshakes and i said oh who he says oh i want to try one of those let's get one of those and i sort of ummed and out a bit because i thought oh, i don't know but then i've had like the um the fruit drinks and things from there in the past and they've been okay so i said oh go on then you know seeing as he's got himself all worked up about going to hospital and then it ends up cancelled when we're actually there so i said oh go on then all right all right just get these miscellaneous out so let's see if we can find these stars and these rounds with the star stamped in them so not they're too big uh, so yeah so i said oh, okay then and uh, there was none of the drinks uh, none of the buns that i particularly fancied Um there's this strange thing goes around where people have ah, that's those look seem to want to put uh, blinking salted caramel in everything and i'm sorry i can't do mixes of sweet and savory uh yeah maybe it's just me maybe i'm the odd one but if it's sweet it should be sweet and if it's savory it should be savory and i can't do with putting salt in caramel <laughs> It's like having a savoury muffin. No, you don't put sweet and savoury together. And uh, what's the other thing that people do? Oh, putting chilli in chocolate. No, why well, spoil good chocolate by putting chilli in it? I know it's really popular and I know salted caramel is like the flavour of the month. But all the buns that I would have had all seem to say salted caramel on them. So I ended up with a mince pie, which was fine. Um, that's a sweet mince pie, you know, that's got... Uh, sort of raisins and all things like that inside it and i love mince pies and um, hubby hasn't made any this year which is sad because he'd make before he got poorly he used to because i think it's because he's always got really cold hands he was excellent at making pastry and his mince pies were great and he always used to put a lot of filling in them as well can't do with mince pies that are all pastry they've got to have the filling in as well and uh, yeah he, he was really really good but sadly he's just not um his hands just don't let him do the things that he used to do which yeah that's sad good for the calories i suppose because we he used to you know make about four dozen <laughs> but then all my friends when i was at work used to say oh is paul making mince pies again this year and i used to really really like his mince pies so yeah because you know they're like proper mince pies with a lovely short crust pastry and everything and so he was really good at pastry so, right just teardrops there so anyway and hubby says oh well i'm going to have two buns and i thought oh no oh, okay so he decides he's going to have um what did he have oh millionaire shortbread i think that could be that one and uh, then he said well if you're having a mince pie i'm having a mince pie as well so i said okay fair enough so i said to the girl oh well we'll have um i think i i wanted the chocolate um hot milkshake why i thought it would taste good i don't know um and hubby wanted the strawberry one which was strawberry and white chocolate hot milkshake well the girl picks up this leaflet that's like an a4 sheet and it's got three columns of instructions on it and she stood there reading it and i thought this is not going to be good uh yeah i think things may just go a little awry because if she doesn't know how to do it she's not done one before maybe the poster was new um uh, anyway <laughs> give her the benefit of the doubt we'll see so all oh, right hang on let me sort these out into rounds so they're rounds i'm gonna see if they're in golds first they're rounds and i know i've got a teardrop in there as well they're teardrops they're rounds uh oh now then they could be silver marquees that have maybe just escaped into these and they're gold marquees i think they're silver yes they are so let me just grab that little bag of silver marquees back out again so yeah so then she goes and asks somebody and the other person stands there reading the leaflet thing as well it's all laminated and everything you know obviously come from head office it's not something that somebody's just written down for them it's you know proper instructions as it were and uh, yeah she didn't really understand them either she's saying oh well i think you do this and i think you do that and uh, so then she starts gathering everything together and then she says well does this say this i couldn't quite hear what she was saying because obviously you know there's people talking and there's other things going on as well and uh, so she said <laughs> so
So somebody else comes across and somebody else is looking at it and saying, oh, well, yeah, you, you do this and you do this. And so I thought, oh, dear, this just isn't boarding well at all. Right, three sizes of these and they're actually a couple of different shades as well. So let's have a look. They've got ones with facets on, so they could be those. And then I want really small ones and really big ones now. Um, nope. So anyway, she's uh, faffing about and she's getting everything together and then she starts doing the bits and pieces. And uh, I think they could be those. And then somebody else comes across and says, oh, no, 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 you do, you do this, look, it's this. And showing her something else. And I'm like, oh, dear me, if this comes out uh, correctly, I'll be amazed. I know everybody's got to learn. And, you know, I was as patient as possible, but it did take forever. You know, when you stood in a queue and you think, I really wish I hadn't asked for this because we're just going to be here all afternoon. <laughs> so, right, I think I've got the right ones. So let's have a look at these. And then there's this great big long queue as well of everybody waiting. And you just think, oh dear, I've caused a massive queue now. And then she starts doing something and then she says, oh, I need to do this bit now, don't I? And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Hope these are all right. Anyway, they eventually arrive and they looked really good. To be fair, they did look like the picture. Um, and I think a lot of those things do, you know, I think they're sort of trained, aren't they? I'll put that one in there i think they're sort of trained and uh, these leaflets and everything you know they, they put the cream on the top and yeah covers a multitude of sins and she gives us a spoon to eat it with and i thought oh dear okay mind you that might have been for the big mound of cream that was on the top um so i go back over to hubby um and he sat there and he says where have you been i said oh i've just been waiting you know, there's about eight customers being served in the meantime while I'm stood there as well. And <laughs> it was just, uh, yeah, one of those things, an experience, shall we say. So, right, let's have a look at these. I think they, oh no, they're bigger. These two are the same. Now then, are they that colour? Uh do you know? No, they're not really. And they're definitely not that colour. So I think we've got a new one. So we'll get a new bag. So anyway, I get sat back down at the table and uh, I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll use my spoon because, you know, there was so much cream. And uh, all I can say is when I eventually tasted this hot, well hot milkshakes they're called why i thought it would be good i don't i was expecting it to be like a nice thick hot chocolate you know and real chocolatey and real creamy and it just literally tasted like a milkshake that had gone warm you know like if you you've got a milkshake and you've put it in the car and forgotten about it and then uh, you want to have a drink of something and you think oh i'll just have a swig of this and you taste it and you think yuck well that's what it tasted like it was disgusting and it was very expensive and i thought well i'm you know even my i don't like waste and i don't want to throw anything away side of me was saying nah you can't drink this you, you just cannot drink this so i had a few mouthfuls and hubby tried it and even he went oh yeah what on earth did you get and i said well it's supposed to be a chocolate one and he says oh no i don't like that and i said no i'm not keen so i actually left it i can't believe i actually yeah waste i'm not good at waste i'm not good at throwing things away back for that one i suppose i could have complained and i could have gone back and said this is disgusting i mean it could have been that she'd made it wrongly i don't know or it could just literally be that that's how it's supposed to taste. And, oh, I just can't think of in any situation. I really wish I'd just got a normal hot chocolate. I mean, last year when they did, like, the Christmassy things and everything, they had, like, the different um, flavoured hot chocolates. They had, they were, like, Quality Street ones, and they had, like, the um, the Green Triangle Noisette one, which was, like, the nutty flavoured one, and they had the toffee flavoured one and everything. And I really thought that that's... You know, it'd be like a hot chocolate along those lines. But actually calling it 
a hot milkshake was probably the giveaway really you just can't do hot ice cream it just nah well I, t I don't even think it had ice cream in it i don't think they do ice cream so i'm not quite sure what the thickness to it was but oh it wasn't nice and i certainly won't be having another one and hubby's strawberry one well it was just thick and gloopy and it was just really full of like this gloopy syrupy stuff at the bottom so I think hubbies might have been that they'd not quite made it properly. I really don't know. But yeah, the mince pie was okay. But uh, £5.50 for two mince pies. I'd sooner have had a diamond painting. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, uh, not a good finish to the afternoon, shall we say. But anyway, so we came home and... Yeah, Millie had been uh, with our friend, so she came bouncing across. And I think having a dog, you've always got somebody that's pleased to see you, and she, you just makes you smile. And then she just sits in the middle of the room and goes, "Oh, wow, woo!" at you because you've been away, and she's telling you off for leaving her. So yeah, she was a good fun, but we can't take her to the hospital because we can't leave her in the car park. I wouldn't mind when we got to the hospital. Um, oh, I think they're a slightly different colour to those. Oh no, there is some that colour. No, I'm going to put them in there anyway. The uh, gold ones with like a, a yellowy gold background. Um, yeah, we actually got parked more or less straight away, which is unheard of. Because the disabled spaces, with it being hospital of course, there's never enough disabled spaces because you're always driving around. I mean, we literally get to the hospital at least half an hour early so that we uh, can get a parking space. You know, you're just waiting for everybody to come out so that you can have a parking space. Right, so let's do yellow next because that's the next one in this. So that was our adventures yesterday afternoon. Not uh, great, I have to say, but hey ho, you live and learn. <laughs> All right, that's a different flower. And oh, shall I put those in with those? Yeah, they're more or less the same. I think they are the same. It's just the lighting. Yeah, they are the same ones. So that wasn't a great uh, experience. And then today, oh dear, uh, Hubby's uh, dialysis starts at 12 o'clock. So he has to be at the hospital um, to start his dialysis at 12. And the transport didn't turn up. And I rang up because it got to like 20 to 12 and he gets really upset and he says oh well I'm not going to go if they're not going to come for me I'm not going to go and obviously he has to go it's one of those things that you know you, you can't not go shall we say um all right not black not white so green is next and we want rounds and marquees in green so large round greens we've not got as many greens so doesn't take quite as long to go through and oh nope not those uh, oh could be oh, oh i've got two different ones oh no oh yeah i've got some really small ones in there as well never mind i think it's those so uh, yeah i rang up and uh, i said oh you know somebody's supposed to be coming uh, for them uh, coming for them coming for him <laughs> for them <laughs> and uh, she says oh, i'm really sorry and um, we're really delayed today so they've only just set off and this was like quarter to 12 so they got here about quarter past 20 past 12 Um i rang the dialysis unit and just said oh you know he's going to be late and she said that's fine that's okay um, and then i realized he's forgotten to take his telephone with him is mobile so he's going to be as mad as a box of frogs when he gets home he'll be so annoyed um yeah because he does like to watch his phone he likes to watch tiktok and everything they do have televisions and everything there so you know it is pretty good um oh i want the marquees don't i next um but yeah so he's not going to be in a happy bunny when he comes home so i'll have to do him a nice tea um, that's if he wants to eat it depends if he gets back really really late he tends to be so tired he doesn't really want to eat so i think that's that one we'll just double check on all the others and see if there's anything similar yeah it's definitely those then okay so we'll see what it's like when he gets in i hope they're not late collecting him 
they've got this daft thing whereby he can't really go out because he's in his wheelchair um, to wait outside. And obviously it's the middle of winter as well. He don't want to be uh, sat outside waiting for them. But they're not allowed to come in um, to shout his name. So there's all sorts of things go on. You know, the world's gone mad. So um, I'll, I'll have that on my tombstone. I think the world has gone mad. <laughs> But anyway, I've just said you're going to have to tell them. Um, obviously, he can't stay sort of on the bed that he's on while he's having his dialysis because once he finishes, then they tidy everything up and clean everything. And then the next lot of people come in for the evening session because there's sessions going on all day. Um, he's in like the afternoon session because he's not at work. But then, you know, there are people that do work. So they come in after work or some of the... Uh, you know, some of them come in before work and like, you know, the younger people that are at college or school or whatever come in at different times as well. They tend to come in before or after school. So, yeah, let me get the blue large rounds. Again, there's a lot of these. Need to really sort these out. But let's get these put away first. I'll probably do it after smashing the specials, actually, the sorting out. Um, so, yeah, I've just said to him, you're going to have to tell them that you you can't stay in your chair. It's making you in a pain, um, you know, and you may not be quite so much in pain while you're there. But then it's giving you a lot of pain later on because you sat, you know, wheelchairs aren't the comfiest of things in the world. They're not really made, I don't think, to be sat in forever. Uh, could be that. Oh, I think that's a different colour, really. So I'm looking for a blue. Don't tell me I've got another shade of blue. I've got so many blues. No, that's not that one. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, I just hope he's okay. That's, oh, it could be that one. That's all that matters really. And they could be those. So let's have a look at those. Yeah, that's a different color. Yeah, that's that one. Oops, bag opened. So, yeah, fingers crossed. And then it's the weekend again. And we're, we'll be into the second week of January. I can't believe how fast it goes. Crazy. Um, no, of those. Oh, I don't know, though. No, I think it's that one. Yeah, it's the darker colour, so we want the large round, the darker colour. And the blue. Okay, they don't look the same out of the bag, but when you put them next to one another, they do. So we'll put these in with this one. So this little chap that's all on his own has now got a few. Yeah, when you put them in together, look, they all look the same. Hmm, strange. Okay, yeah, he's got some friends with him now, so that's good. Okay, oh, and that one wants to go away as well. So then we just want marquees. So we've got teeny tinies. Um, are they the same one? Nope, they're two different sizes. And then that one. And then their teardrops. They're a different one. Okay, so we want blue marquees. All right. So we're looking for turquoisey ones. Could be those. Uh, Nope, they're too small. Oh, I don't know though. Have a look at those. Um, have a look at those as well. That could be the same one. That could be that one. And that could be that one. Oh, that'll be good if I've got them all already. Don't need to go ferreting for a new bag. Yep, they're definitely those. So these round stickers with the MY number on is the marquee number and that's the Craft Buddy Crystal Art number. So did I just see one still in there? No, I'm seeing things. Oh dear. <laughs> right, and are these the same as these? Yes, they are. Okay. And, oh, Millie's got out of her basket. She's gone somewhere. She's obviously decided that even though she's trampled round in that basket and uh, 
had a real good ferret. Uh, yeah, she's uh, decided, no, it's not comfy, so she's got out. Actually, I think she's probably a bit warm because I think the um, pipe for the central heating runs underneath where her bed is there because there is a radiator in that corner. Yeah, they're those. Do you know, I think they are... Oh, now then, they're craft buddy ones and they've got different numbers. Yeah, these are a darker colour. Okay. So I'll put these in the darker one. Go on to the dark side. <laughs> okay, go on, get out. Get out. There's only three, but oh, don't be awkward. Go on. Come on. I don't want to have to escort you forcibly out of the bag. Oh. One's gone. Okay, there's always oh no, there's two still left. There it is. It's gone. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so that's blue. All oh, right, we've got a teardrop as well. Excuse me. So teardrops, and I think we have got this one because it's quite a popular one. And uh, is it that one? Or is it the real blue one, or is it the turquoise one? No, it's the really blue one. There, look, that's it. Okay. So I think I'm going to have to spread into two boxes. <gasps> Mind you, I have got that other box now where I've taken all those crystals out. If you saw my last kitten down of uh, special drills where I was doing crystals, um, I've got that other box. So I have got sort of probably one side of that I could use at the moment. So that'll be good. Okay, so that's those. Oh, I've not put those away either. Look, do you know... If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Yeah, they're definitely those blue marquees with no facets. You do get a very different look when you've got the facets on. Um, you know, they, they more look like glass, I think, because of the shine and everything on them. Very, very pretty. Oh, I've definitely been a magpie in a former life with all these. I just love them. Anything sparkly and shiny. Have I put those in the wrong place there, teardrops? No, that card's just slipped a bit because these are getting a bit full. Let's just give them a bit of a... Oh, they're all so messy and sticking up. Can't stand it. Right, let's move those out of the way. So, my next colour in my box. Let's move these. Because we're at this side of the box now. I'll move these to this side. It's pink. So let's have a look at the pinks. Right, so oh, hot pink marquees, marquees, rounds, rounds, miscellaneous marquees. I think they're the same as those, yes. Uh, they're like the marquees again, but with no facets on, so they're like those. Teardrops, oh, more little marquees and more little teardrops. Two colours in that one. Oh, there's a little pink marquee in there as well. Got an escapee in that one. Okay. Oh, actually, he's one of these, so let's get him out. Am I really faffing about with one little tiny gem? Yes, I am, was the cry. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can get a hold of him. Oh, it's like trying to catch a mouse. Come here. Come here. There, yeah, got it. Right, so that's those. So let's have a look in rounds first. Are they the same? Nope, they're two different sizes. So pink large rounds. And that's red. So why have I got red in pink? Oh dear, hang on. Red, red. Pink, 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 pink. Pink, pink, pink. Yeah, I've just put those red in the wrong place when I've been kitting down. Oh dear. Not good, Liz. Right, so just ignore that little marquee at the moment. So we want a mediumish pink and a smallish pink. Could be that one. Or it could be that one. So now I'll keep that one out as oh my gosh, these are all the same but different colours. It's definitely not that one. Definitely not that one. Oh look at all these hot pinks. Uh, is that that one could be 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look at those. Iridescent coating. And then we've got that one. No, that's too small. So let's just pop those away. And let's see. Right. So are these the same size? Yes, they are. So these are these. Excellent. It's all good fun doing this. And at the moment, I'm actually doing that Robin Christmas box that I kitted up ages ago, probably the beginning of December. And it's really funny because Hubby said, you're a bit late doing that. It's Christmas has gone. I said, oh, well, it's a box. I think that's going to be the nearest colour. So just double check. Yeah, they're all slightly different colours. So I think it's that one. Um, I said, oh, well, I want to put everything away, all my Christmas stuff away in this one. So this is mm, okay then. So I nearly got it finished last night, actually. It was a lot quicker, considering it's like a 30 by 30 and it is a like a full drill canvas. It's crystals, but it is... The whole of the uh, front of the box is uh, covered. And uh, yeah, I got quite a lot of it done. I was quite surprised. I'll finish it off tonight. So that'll be number four on smashing the specials that I've done. Uh, right, so what have I got next there? Teardrops. These are marquees. So let's have a look at marquees. Uh, again, not that many. So a bit easier to look through. Uh, no, they've got an iridescent coating on. They're like the glass ones. They're the small ones, so they could be those. Oh, all these hot pinks. I think they're those. I'm sure I've got some of those. Yes, I have. Yeah, they're those. Excellent. Uh, let me know, are you uh, taking part in Smashing the Specials? Is it something that you're doing this year? So Mindy uh, and Brandy do do it twice a year now. Because, uh, Mindy does love her specials. And I uh, can't think, uh, yeah, I love mine as well. can't think why she does. <laughs> they're just fab to do. They're just so sparkly and they're actually quick, quicker to do than a full canvas. And I just like getting things finished and done. And I just love the look of them when they're completed. They're just so pretty. All right, I think these are all these colours. Yep, they are. So let's just put that little one in there. And then it's been in the teardrop party. And now he's in the marquee party with all his friends that look like him. And you get... And then I meant to do my nails last night, but uh, hubby was uh, not feeling brilliant after being at the hospital, even though he didn't have anything done. It's still, you know, he gets worked up about it. You know, hospital visits aren't nice things, are they? So, But he just seemed to be, well, I wouldn't say enjoying his dialysis, but he's enjoying going out, you know, in like the ambulance bus thing that comes for him and seeing everybody and getting used to the nurses you know he's got his own nurse that he sees most of the time now and uh, me has a good bit of a banter with us so all right i want very small hot pink teardrops uh, uh, yeah they're too big oh could be those yes i think it's those uh, yeah, I uh, so I won't say enjoying because that's not really. Oh, do you know? I think they're a different shape. Let me just look at those teardrops again. No, it's not those. They're sort of fatter. They're bigger, fatter. Is it those then? Let me look at those. Yes, it's those. So, yeah, and he's got um, the pick a couple of other people up as well in the bus or the ambulance as it is. So, you know, he's getting used to that person as well. And he's just, well, say, enjoying the company, I think, rather than the actual experience of having it done. So, yeah, and of course, I don't have to feel guilty about being upstairs here 
or having to run upstairs and do filming while he's asleep because <laughs> he's not here and at the moment he can't ring me because he ain't got his telephone oh dear right so these are like a round uh, a fluorescent round pink with a star stamped in them so oh, Moses those oh that could be those even though they're Ooh, now then let me have a closer look at these because actually on no, i suppose they are no you see they do look pretty similar on the top i think i'll put those in with those anyway Shall I, shan't I? Ooh, what shall I do, what shall I do? No, I'm going to put them separately. Let's put them in their own bag. I've come this far, let's put them in their own bag. <laughs> okay, and then we've just got red and one orange to do, and then we're finished. So these are all the red sort of berry type ones. So that's that size. That's that size, that's a marquee, that's a round, that's a marquee. Oh, they're purple. Oh, no, I've got purple and orange to do, apologies. So, are all these the same size? No, they're slightly bigger. So, we've got three sizes in the rounds without facets. Okay, so we're back on large round red. Oh, my goodness, I'll do this in two. Oh, no. I don't need to do it in two lots. I'm picking up the marquees at the same time. <laughs> Tell you, I've got big hands. All right, could be those. They've got facets, so it's not those. Um, could be those. They've got... They've got facets. These don't have facets, do they? Or do they? No, they don't, so it's not those. Keep those out. Up oh, could be those. Oh, that could be those. I think that's maybe more that size. Um, okay, so let's just have a look at these and see if these are the right ones yep there are those so that's good they can go in that bag i've practically got everything taken down now i've just got a few gnomes to swap out so yeah i will have everything down by 12th night so that's good i've got everywhere cleaned up as well so that's even better i do love it when the house is clean but I hate it when the decorations come down. <laughs> all right, let me just have a look through these. Oh, I did get all the large rounds, so that's that. Right, so is this this one? They are slightly smaller. Are they the same as those? Have I just got two bags of the... do look slightly smaller than those oh i'm going Ooh. yeah they're just a slightly different size so i'm going to put these in with this one that i cut it down the other day that has the a q number on it with the little heart yeah. all right so now it's just these little critters that I need to sort out. Let me have a look. They're bigger, aren't they? So they're definitely the same ones. They're bigger. Okay, let's have a look at these. Yeah, I think they're more that colour, so I think they're those. So we'll put all those back and put these in here. Oops, 
don't want to open. <laughs> oh, Millie's got back in a basket again. She's having one of those days. She's going to have a bath tomorrow. She doesn't know yet. Don't tell her. She's zedding away in the corner. She's asleep. Those put in there. Hey. That's that one. Right. And then marquees in red. Oops, we only want marquees. We don't want teardrops as well. As you can see, they're getting so full. They're not coming out properly. Right. So we want large ones and small ones. Medium. They could be those. They've got a coating on. Not those, not those, not those, not those. Oh, so we've got another new one. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got one that we've already got and one newbie. Oh, these bags. Ugh. <laughs> Grab the scissors, Liz. Grab the scissors. <laughs> Oh dear, just one of those days. Right. The bags are winning, three falls to a knockout. So I just want a bag of fall of that one. Okay. At least there's two of them so they can stay together, can't they? Put my scissors out the way. Right, that's what you get. So that's the red ones. So now we've just got purple and orange. So I think purple's the next one. So we've got, actually, I think that could be, oh no, it is purple. So we've got marquees in purple and teardrops in purple. Okay. So not many purples. Don't seem to get many purples. So, nope. Yep, I think it's those. Oh, look at those. They're like a real midnighty dark colour. Very nice. And I definitely know we've got that orange one because they're what I call our owl claws. Yeah, when I first got started um, doing specials, all the owls that I did all had those orange uh, teardrops as owl claws. So they're just always going to be owl claws to me. <laughs> And then teardrops. Let's have a look, see if we've got any of these very pale teardrops. Okay, there's only a couple of them. Uh, no, so they do look very pink, actually. I don't know whether they're... Do we think they could be pink? Let me just have a look in pink teardrops. I think they could be uh, pretty similar to those other ones that we did. And they've just escaped into the purple. Yeah, they're those, aren't they? Okay. Let's put you with your friends. All right, am I going to sit and sort all these numbered bags out again? Probably, was the cry. But that's something that I can uh, just sit and do. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. So, so last one is orange teardrops and look at how many we've got oops that one wanted to come out and say hello as well get back in there you it's not your time to shine today yeah, lots and lots of those make really nice sunflowers and things i think got all sorts of ideas to do with all these things Right, so that's those done. So now I just want my A, Bs and my twinklers. So this is uh, an art dot storage and this is one of those three tier uh, like little storage drawer sections. So we've got, I think these are all the same colour. Yes, they are. And then we want this green. So is that that green? I would say so. So, yeah, any that I've got that have got uh, a DMC number, I have put the DMC number on them. And any that haven't are just in a, a separate little tub. And then if I do get them, 
with DMC numbers on, then I can match them up. So I've not got that many at the moment. I do have some square ones as well, but these are all my round ones. So that's all those. And then these are twin colours. I do believe are all the silver ones. And I have already got, oops, I don't want to come out, one full little jar and another one. So let's see if we can get these into here. I've got my glow in the dark ones in here as well. This is all my twinklers, my square crystals that I've got and then uh, all the glow in the dark ones as well. So keep them all separate, well separate so that I don't uh, end up mixing them up because I know what I'm like. <laughs> see how many of these I can get in. Let's put this one in as well. I think I may need another little jar going to three. Oh, wow. Maybe start a bigger jar, like my crystals jar. That'd be fun. Because these are more expensive than the standard crystals. Because <laughs> they've got an iridescent coating on an AB coating. Okay. Oops. And then this one. <gasps> da, da, da. Nobody sneeze. <laughs> Might just about make it, but I'm definitely, uh, if I get any more, I'm going to have to get another one. So that one is really, really full. So we'll put the lid on that one. Oops. This will go back in here. They don't quite fit these. They're just, they're not in straight lines. So I'm, I'm not overly keen on these type of storage, these with the bottles. But I think the um, little like tic tac containers fit in these drawers better. With them being more square, but going with it for now. Right. So that's them done as well. Okay, well, that was uh, a little bit more of a marathon. As I say, if I'd have done it with the other video, it would have taken forever. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat and seeing all my crystals and my special shapes. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and come back and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.